Shalom. Kohololla Yahweh by Shem Yahweh which means all praises to Yahweh, which is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who you people in the world are going to be called God by Hashem in the name of Yahweh Shah, which is the name of the only begotten Son, who you people in the world are going to be called Jesus Christ. Those are the true names of the Heavenly Father and the Son, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Also, to the Akim that's pushing and spreading this word throughout the four corners of the earth, who's also uplifting the names Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shalom to you, Akim. Also to the Israelite foreigners, the speckled bird, man, woman, and child, whose bloodline traces back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, all forefathers, though you may look like the heathen nations just scattered amongst which the heathen nations on this chart right here is the nation starting from two on down. Those are the heathen nations. Also, if your lineage, your sea line goes back to these people on this chart right here. And if your spirit bear witness with this word and this truth, you can receive it to the speckled bird, man, woman, child. This does apply to you, our Israelites. Though you may look like the other nations, the heathen nations, you're scattered amongst due to the scattering of these people right here on this chart. So you're going to have Israelites that look like the other nations, but their spirit, they're Israelites because their spirit bear witness with this word. You know, they're under the curses, Deuteronomy 28, 15 on down. Also, most importantly, their lineage goes back to these tribes through the men. To the few Akwaf with you sisters that do listen and learn, Shalom. To the elect of the nation of Israel, wherever you may be scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, Shalom to you as well. To so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, as you see on the chart right here, once again, you could bond consistent, make up the 12 tribes of Israel. You are the Hebrew Israelites, the chosen people of the Most High Yahweh and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shah, who you angrily call Jesus Christ, once again. And, um, I got a video. Basically, you got, you know, these celebrities. Just like everybody else now, they um basically they uh freaking out over this uh this coronavirus. So I'm gonna uh play uh this clip and I'm gonna uh, get the scriptures. Fuck something. I don't know what the fuck this coronavirus is about. I don't understand how that shit was from Wuhan, China. Now all of a sudden this shit is a motherfucking tour. And let me tell y'all something, I ain't even gonna front. A bitch is scared. I'm a little scared, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> shit, shit got me panicking. And a lot of you motherfuckers think it's a joke, kiki, 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 like I was thinking, right? But that shit right there, just because you think you're immune to it, guess what? Your pocket ain't, bitch, because a lot of shit comes from motherfucking China, bitch. So if you wonder where your motherfucking weave or your fashion over motherfucking packages have arrived, guess what, bitch? <laughs> Coronavirus! Coronavirus! I'm telling you, shit is real! Shit is getting real! Woo! Hey, y'all really like waiting for my music to turn. It's crazy, bro. Strictly for my 
followers to take advantage of. I'm finna put y'all up on something that ain't nobody else gonna put y'all up on. Y'all going to the store, wasting y'all money, buying the masses. Y'all around here acting scared. Y'all fucking up your money in the stock market, spending all your money, being careful, looking at bitches crazy when they cough, because y'all don't want to catch the coronavirus. The coronavirus. We had Zekia. We had mad cow disease. They had hepatitis. Remember they even the chicken possum and, and, and the peacock. You know, so all that shit. But let me tell y'all something about the coronavirus. I got the cure for the coronavirus. Yeah, I got the cure for the coronavirus. All you got to do to avoid the coronavirus is drink you two Heineken's a day. You drink you two motherfucking Heineken's a day. The coronavirus won't stand a chance. This trick daddy dollars and I approve this message. See, Jake. That's Jake right there for you, man. Still think it's a game, man. See? It's the same thing they did uh when uh uh Trump sanctioned, you know, the dude Soleimani and Iran, you know, that strike. And what happened? Everybody was talking about whole shit. World War Three, World War Three. And who was goofing off about it the most? Jake. Okay. These people are scared, man. They 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 look, they trying to, you know, they trying to act, you know, cute. For social media, okay, but um, at the end of the day, everybody out here is, is, is scared, man, okay, including these so-called celebrities, you know. I'm gonna get a scripture real quick. It's it's all funny now, you know. It's real funny. The Most High is not playing with you, you, you people no more, including you, you know, you, you, you Israelites, especially you Israelites, right? This is uh, Amos 3 and 6. It says, Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people be not afraid like you see now? People afraid now, man. Okay? To the point where they wearing, you know, hazmat suits. Okay? I seen uh, that model. Her name is, ne I think, it was, what is it? Nevi Campbell. I forgot her name. But um, she uh got on a plane with a full uh, hazmat suit on. Okay? You seeing people do all types of crazy things, buying up toilet paper, just buying food, panic buying. Period, man. You seeing it's you seeing videos pop up of people doing all types of crazy things. You know, fighting over toilet paper. I forgot to mention that. Okay, people are afraid, man. Shall they be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? Okay, and you know you saw Cardi B. You know, you know all you know loud and uh, dramatic and um wearing you know. Basically, they ain't got nothing on that video, but um, she uh saying she don't know how you know it the the, the virus went from Wuhan and all the way over to over here, basically all over the world. For one, you know you got people saying it's man made, okay, that the virus is is a bio weapon, which it is, but they'll try to say it's man made. But who put this? The Lord controls everything. The Lord put the spirit on cause uh on Esau or whoever to release, okay. This virus, the Lord sanctioned everything. In order for somebody to make a move, you the Lord has to sanction it. A man's goings is of the Lord, man. Like it says in the book of Proverbs, I believe 20 and 24, 24 and 20, one or two. Okay? You people try to make it seem like you in control here. No. The Lord's in control of everything. The Lord's in control of me doing this video right now. Okay? This is this is not of me, you know. But the Lord is the one that sent this virus out, man, because he's had it, you know. Real quick. He's had it with you people, man. He's fed up with you people. He got he 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 he's uh using his prophets, you know, to warn you people. Really, you Israelites, you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you know, to uh repent and stop doing, you know, stop going in the way you're going, you know, stop following uh the way of the heathen. But it's like our people, they ain't hearkening to it. You know? Let me get uh Sirach, right? And uh Sirach. 
Let me see. Uh, 10 and 7. It says, Pride is hateful before Yahweh and man, and by, by both does one commit iniquity. Okay? And that's what you see in the society. That's what is as an old time high. You know, starting with the Edomites, with the Edomites, the so called white race. Okay? They're prideful, man. And and go if you go up, as as the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. And what man of man, the ruler of the city, is such are all they that dwell therein, man. Okay? Esau. What does Esau say? Real quick. Um, I forgot the scripture I was going to get. Actually, yeah. Psalms, real quick. 10. Yep. And this is Psalms, the 10th chapter. It says, I'm going to start at 2. The wicked, which the wicked. What? You got wicked people. But you have the wicked, okay? You have wicked Israelites and you got the heathens. But you have the wicked nation, which the wicked nation, once again, is Edom. Malachi 1 and 4 proves that. The wicked in his pride doth persecute the poor, okay? Which the poor in the society is you Israelites, mainly you Israelites, okay? Let them be taken in the vices that they have imagined. For wicked, the wicked boasteth of his heart's desire and blesseth the covets, covetous whom the Lord bore. The wicked, through the pride of his countenance, will not seek after Yahweh. Yahweh is not in all his thoughts. Okay? And that's that's Esau Edom. Esau Edom uh, 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 is prideful. These Edomites are prideful. They don't believe they're going down as it says, as, as it's going to say. His ways are always grievous. Thy judgments are far above out of his sight. As for all his enemies, he puffeth at them. He said in his heart, I shall not be moved, for I shall never be in adversity. Okay? Meaning he basically doesn't believe, don't, in his head, in his mind, he's not going to be taken down. And that, him being the ruler with that mindset, he's pushed that vibration on the people. That's why, before, you know, this coronavirus hit America, when it was still in China and it was all on China, okay? You would talk about the coronavirus here and what people would say, well, that's not coming here. Or they would be like, if it come here, we're going to have a vaccine, we're going to automatically cure it. You know, it's just like the flu. That's what they kept saying, man. Okay? Because they don't believe this place is going down. Their inward thought, according to Psalms 49 11, is that their house shall dwell from generation to generation. They name the lands after their own names, like it says, man. That's what you people you believe you people believe that this is the uh end all be all, man. Okay? And you prideful, man. So going back down, it says pride is hateful before Yahweh and man, and by both the one commit iniquity. I'm going to skip down to 9. It says, Why is earth and ashes proud? There is none. There is not a more wicked thing than the covetous man. That's all you people are out here. It's just covetous, man. Worrying about what the next man got. Okay? That's what you people are, man. Okay? You aren't thinking about Yahweh Bashim al and really tribes, man. Okay? To hell with the, the heathens. Okay? For such as one set of his own soul to sell, you know, these sellouts, like these celebrities, right? Because while he liveth, he casteth away his bowels. The physician cutteth off a long disease, and he that is today a king, tomorrow shall die, you know? Let me go down, right? And that's what's about to happen. A lot of you celebrities, you're going to die, man. Okay, Kobe Bryant, the Lord ain't in with Kobe Bryant. Real soon, it's going to be, it's going to be a whole lot of people, right? From the least to the greatest of them, like it says in the scriptures, okay? This is 12 verse. The beginning of pride is when one departed from Yahweh and his heart is turned away from his maker. And that's a majority of Israelites. Their uh, uh, pride is what causes them to uh, 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 cast Yahweh by Shemel Shah behind them. The pride of life, you know, the things they have in this world, okay? Thinking they, you know, got it all on the side and they are with what they're doing is... Uh, uh, it's all right, man. For pride is the beginning of sin, and he had, he that have hath it shall pour out abominations. Just like in that video, joking around, man. And therefore, you know, telling, you know, telling the Lord that he's wrong for what he's about to do, you know. That's what these people would do. They'll try to shame Yahweh by Shema Shah, okay? You, you, you explain, you know, the ways of the Lord, how he gets down, especially with judgment. They'll try to shame that and say that's that's wrong. Okay? 
And therefore, the Lord brought upon them strange calamities and overthrew them early. And this is what's happening. This coronavirus is of, of many of the other plagues that Yahweh Shem El Shai has sent out. Okay? This coronavirus being the main one right now. Okay? That's a strange calamity right now. That came out of nowhere for you people. You people wasn't expecting something like that. None of us was. We knew, according to the scriptures, that he said that, you know, pestilence was going to uh, be a part of the end time signs. Okay? But you didn't expect it to come like this. Okay? The Lord have cast down the thrones of princes and the seat. Well, that was it. Right? This is what's happening. Strange calamities is upon this place. Judgment is upon the planet Earth right now. Now everybody's scared. Right? Real quick. Because you people... Real quick. Let me get one more scripture. This is Jeremiah 5... Because this is what you Israelites, most of you, in your head, whether you literally said it, whether you said it on the comment board, whether you just said it in your head, you know, just by ignoring everything. This is what you say. Jeremiah 5 and 11, for the house of Israel and the house of Judah, the southern and the northern kingdom, have dealt very trustfully against me, said the Lord, Yahweh by Shem El Shah. They, they have belied the Lord, Yahweh by Shem El Shah, and said, it is not he, neither shall evil come upon us, neither shall we see sword nor famine. Okay. And the prophets shall become wind, and the word is not in them. Thus shall it be done unto them, man. That's what you. That's what you've been uh, walking around. The attitude you've been a majority of Israelites walk around with. But that's about to end now, okay? You seeing famine, okay? You seeing the sword, which the sword, as I always say, according to Psalms seventeen and thirteen, is who Esau, Edom. And that's gonna be through the martial law troops and whatever else he has out here, man. Cause he's gonna unleash everything he has, man. He's gonna come down with that great wrath on you. Lord's going to put a madman spirit on Esau, man, okay, to kick your rebellious Israelites in your ass one last time, man, okay? Now, this is Habakkuk 2, right, and 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie, though it tarry. Wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. And that's what's happening. For, for a, a, a point of time, you know, we would tell you, you know, these things are going to happen. And it, it, didn't ha it, it didn't happen yet. But now we at the end. Now we're speaking. Now everybody sees it. Now everybody's being impacted by it. So you know what's happening? Just like I showed you in that video. This is Isaiah 33. And um, and, and thirteen, hear ye that are far off what I have done, and ye that are near acknowledge my might. The sinners of in Zion, you Israelites, are afraid. Okay, that's what you saw in that video. They are afraid, and you see they, you know, they trying to uh, they trying to you know hide it, you know, trying to look good on social media, or trying to be funny about it. But deep down inside, they know they're afraid because a lot of you, especially a lot of you uh, celebrities, a lot of you know, you knew this already. You knew that you were Israelites, okay? And you knew that you took the, you taking that bag from Esau, you knew that someday that the Most High was going to catch up with you, okay? Now you're starting to see it happen. And that goes for all of Israel, man, you know? It says the, the sinners in Zion are afraid. Fearfulness has surprised the hypocrites. Because our people claim they believe in, you know, Jesus, which his name is not Jesus, Yahweh But when you tell them the, 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 the description that he's not a so-called white man, he's a so-called Negro, or you tell them how, what he's coming back to do, that he's not coming back with peace and love and hugs and kisses, that he's coming back to make war with this system that our two-thirds of our people love, Okay, and he's coming to uh, bring judgment on the planet Earth. They don't want to hear that, man. They don't believe all after that. After they hear that, okay, hypocrites, man, who among us shall and they will also say, "Well, I love God," but the scriptures say in the Book of John, "If you love me, keep my commandments." And our people don't do that. You know, of course, we can't keep all commandments, but it's simple things you can keep. They don't want to do that. For example, eating pork. A majority of our people don't want to stop eating pork. Okay, who among us stop getting lineups? That's something that that's hard for a majority of our people to do. It's simple. It's just simple things, right? 
who among us shall dwell with the devouring fire, who among us shall dwell with everlasting burnings. And that's going to come uh, uh, via the, uh, 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 the missiles, the nuclear missiles, man. Nuclear destruction. And also them chariots, the so-called UFOs. That's also going to be shooting fire out here, man. Okay? But he that walketh righteously, who's walking righteously? The elect of the house of Israel. And speaketh uprightly, he that despises the gain of oppressions, not selling out to Esau, that shaketh his hands from holding of bribes, okay, that stoppeth his ear from hearing of blood like these celebrities and these politicians and the majority of our people do. They overlook they overlook Esau's wickedness, but they so quick to hop on each other, though, right? And shut up his eyes from seeing evil. He shall dwell on high. His place of defense shall be the munitions of rocks. Bread shall be given him. His water shall be sure, okay? Meaning he's going to be fed in these times. He's going to be taken care of in these times, you know? And I, you know, there be times, you know, you'll get them, them doubt demons on you, you know? Demons of doubt, you know? Or, you know, your flesh, because the scriptures say, you know, the, you know, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. We in these bodies. So these bodies is what? They're going to fear. They ain't going to want to uh, feel uncomfortable, you know? But in the spirit, you know, we got to know that Yahweh Bashim Shah got us, you know? If we walking up rightly, if you were Israelite, if you are the elect, you know? That goes for myself as, you know, foremost, you know? I'm not exempt from that either, right? But these people... Right? Right? Lamentations 6. Or not Lamentations. Luke 6 and 25. Right? I'm going to uh, start at... Uh, Twenty-three. Let me get to the point. Rejoice ye in that day, and leap for joy, for behold, your reward is great in heaven. For in the like manner did the fathers unto the prophets, right? But woe unto you that are rich, for ye have received your consolation. You know. Woe unto you that are full, for ye ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now, for ye shall weep, shall mourn and weep, mourn and weep. Okay. Esau is going to uh Esau. He's going to weep real. He's weeping right now. You other, you heathens, they already getting their judgment. It's just you two-thirds now because you two-thirds are still walking proud. You know, you don't, you're not paying attention to the prophecies and you still uh, uh, acting like, okay? You you just prideful. That's what I'm going to say. You just prideful, okay? Here it is. Yahweh Bashim al he's showing you that he's taking down your enemies and you still walking around oblivious just talking about dumb shit, man, Okay? Not not caring, man. You're just prideful, man. So the Lord's just gonna take you out, man. Okay? You gonna mourn and you gonna you gonna mourn and weep real soon. We in the times now. Okay? We in them times now. Okay. This is Sirac 49 or 39. My bad. Not 49. Time is fine, man. Sirach 39. Right? And 26. I'll start at 23. It says, As he have turned the waters into saltness, so saw the heathen inherit his wrath. Just like you see it now. Look at Moab, the so-called Chinese. Look at look at uh Esau, especially Esau. Okay. Look what's going on. Europe is now the uh, epicenter of the coronavirus now. Who dwells mostly in Europe? You got Israelites in Europe, but it's mostly Edomites, man, so-called white people. And there's it's now an epicenter. You thought the Lord was gonna take his focus off you Edomites? Nah, man. All you heathen gonna get it, man. Okay? As his ways are playing onto the holy soul, they stumble the blocks onto the wicked, man. For the good are good things created from the beginning, so evil things for sinners. The principal things for the whole use of man's life are water, fire, iron, and salt, flour of wheat, honey, milk, and the blood of the grape, and oil and clothing, right? What you see in this society where everybody wants so good. 
no resources, you know, right? All these things are for the good to the godly, so to the sinners they are turned into evil. Here's the point. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Who? Yahweh, the Heavenly Father. Okay? We in a time of destruction right now. Fire and hell and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents, and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. Okay? So this is for the wicked. This destruction is for the wicked. The, the, the Edomites, okay? The heathen nations and two-thirds of the house of Israel that will be cut off due to their disobedience on this side. Okay? This is who the destruction is for. You know? We are not, you know, like, you know, we're not supposed to be, you know, af afraid, you know, of what's coming or what's here. You know? Or what's coming, you know? I don't know how it's going to play completely out. It's, it's becoming clear now, you know? But the destruction is for the wicked, man. Okay? The Lord said he saw the prosperity of the wicked, but he saw them cut off as grass, man. Something like that in the book of Psalms, this, uh, 37 chapter. Okay? This is who it's for. You are going to have martyrs of the house of Israel, but they still get the W, you know? This is for the rebellious, man. This destruction you're seeing right now is for the rebellious. Okay? It says, they shall rejoice in his commandment and they shall be ready upon earth when need is. And when their time has come, they shall not transgress his word. And this is why you're seeing destruction getting worse and worse because the Most High is getting ready to uh, 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 press, press play on this destruction, man. He's been holding it back for his elect to be sealed, okay? But now you're seeing, you're seeing it be let loose completely. So the Lord's getting ready to uh, visit the planet earth. You know, he's getting ready to destroy the wicked, okay? So, as I always, you know, as I always say, if you a so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, you need to repent right now. See how about Shema Shah before you can't, okay? Because then the Lord's going to laugh at your calamity like it says in the book of Proverbs, the first chapter, right? It says, I'm going to finish it off because my break's over. It says, therefore, from the beginning, I was resolved and thought upon these things and have left them in writing. All the works of the Lord, Yahweh Shah, are good, and he will give every needful thing in due season. Okay? So, that's it. Call hello, Yahweh Shah, Shah. Shalom to the elect. Abba, 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 Ha, Ayapia, Abba, Ha, Ayapia. Uh, Shalom to the elect. Shalom.